Hi everyone. The first experiment that you're going to perform in Quantitative Analysis Lab is a pipetting challenge. Essentially, what we're going to do in this experiment is to make sure that you all become expert pipetters. So, what we're going to do in lab is you're going to take a 10 milliliter pipette, you're going to pipette uh, 10 milliliters of water into a clean, teared beaker, you're going to weigh that mass on a balance to four decimal places, and you're going to convert that mass of water transferred into volume of water transferred. Now you're going to need the density of water at whatever temperature your water is at uh, in order to convert from grams to milliliters. We have in lab a chart that has the density of water um, at various temperatures. So you can use that chart very easily. It's up on the wall. Uh, once you have the volume transferred, you're going to include this on the class spreadsheet. Okay. So everyone will take the, the volume that they, they pipetted and put it in a spreadsheet. And we're going to see a distribution of the volumes pipetted. Now this would be kind of cool because we'll see, you'll be able to tell uh, individually how you performed compared to the class. Uh, but we'll also be able to see the range of um, volumes that are transferred over a large number of people. There are a few things that can affect the volume transferred. Uh, the main one is how well you pipette. Okay, so there is a video on Carmen that gives you some really good tips on pipetting. Uh, and just to sort of list those here, make sure you fill to the line. Make sure you have no air bubbles when you fill to the line at the, at the end of the tip. And when you pipette and transfer into the beaker, there should be a little bit of water left at the tip of the pipette. That stays there. Okay, so those are, some th so those are three things that will help you uh, become really good at pipetting. Um, so, if you pipette and you, your uh, volume transfer is, is within the tolerance of the pipette, great. Okay, now I'll repeat that uh, two more times to be able to have a total of three really good measurements. And then um, you're going to use an average and standard deviation uh, and uh, include this in your uh, report page. Which will... And if you're struggling with pipetting, Make sure you check with the TA or me if I'm around. I'll be in and out of the lab. Uh, and if you, if you want to ask your neighbor, that's fine too. Maybe they're, you, that you know that they've become really good at pipetting and you're struggling, feel free to ask them for help too. Okay, we're all in this together. I want everyone to uh, really feel like, you know, this is something we need to learn, okay? And we're all in this together. I don't want anyone to feel left out. Uh, but yeah, make sure you turn in that report page. You're going to get points uh, for completing the, the report page and, and completing the lab experiment.